My journey across Saudi has been so unexpected and I think for me it's one of the most exciting holiday places I've ever been. I'm in Jeddah again, but this time I'll be having a whole different type of experience underwater. This is Eye on the Unexpected. Hi, I'm Kim Bauer. Nice to meet you. I've heard big things about the Saudi coral and the fishes, the colors. It's yeah, we are in Red Sea. Yeah. So the best amazing place in the world. Yeah. I'm really looking forward to it. It's a, a different side of Jeddah. Kinvara. We are here in the most beautiful place in Red Sea. It's named uh, Coral Garden. And when you're down there, how does it feel? Wow, well, really it's peace, quiet, no people, no sound, no problems. So, how was it? There's so many different colors of fish and coral. I had no idea that snorkeling was gonna be so spectacular. So now you're gonna go scuba diving. Wow, this is amazing. This is my world, this is my life. It's meditation underwater. It's so beautiful and we don't even know it's there unless we dare to go down. It reminds me how important it is. Saudi has such a big vision for tourism. Being here is one experience after another. It's constantly unfolding. Hi, welcome. Wow, I can't believe this place is incredible. So we're in Al Ula, the region. Yeah. Where exactly are we here? This area of Al Ula is called Therba, but also Therba is part of a larger region that we call the Sharaan Nature Reserve. And it remains one of the biggest nature reserves in Saudi. So this must be a dry riverbed. Oh, you are absolutely right. That line straight across, that could have been an original water level. What's really struck me today is how nice the climate is. There's like really nice breeze, it's not too hot. How does the climate vary through the year? Generally, the weather is really beautiful in the winters. So we're going to the Ridge Walk later, which is a beautiful hike with a really nice city view at the end. We'll be able to see a, a nice look of the entire city of Al Look at that, we've climbed far. We have, really That's quickly. beautiful, wow. Went by like a breeze, huh? It's spectacular, it really is. Every element of the desert really has a story or has something to say. But it's seeing people come in and have so much wonder in their eyes looking at these mountains for the first time. That's the kind of thing that brings joy. I've never seen anything like this before, and I've traveled, but we've walked and covered some quite interesting terrain. And, and right. as the sun is setting, it's magical. Yay, we did it! We Hooray! Did it. Good Hooray. Job. <laughs> this is truly one of the most beautiful places I've ever witnessed. And amazingly, the Royal Commission invited me to see the region from new heights. The rose colored light in the desert, the natural landscape, it has so much raw beauty, I can feel my soul come alive. What did you like the most here when you stayed? I can't believe quite how much I've packed in in such a short time. I've been diving in Jeddah, we've been hiking. Now I'm staying in this absolutely beautiful hotel. It's one of those places you don't really want to tell anyone about because you kind of want to make sure it's always available to yourself. But it's so special. I really can't wait to share it with my friends. I can't believe what I've gotten to see and experience here in Saudi. It's hard to put into words, but the people, the places, the things I've got to see and do have really been incredible. And how warm and generous and giving the people are. It's a place I'll never forget, and I am definitely coming back soon.